thank you for being with us for this evening. We have just two more events and the event and the evening will be concluded. We want to bring your attention to the theme of the evening puja. The simple word would be sacrifice or offering. It's woven into human life, sacrifice as an integral part. It begins with a young man agreeing to support a young woman. Then comes parenthood and parents give of themselves to the child. Whenever we go wrong, there is a cry in the heart for reconciliation, for rapprochement. The world has many gaps. The gap is between our expectation and our reality. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. Aspiration springs unrealistic in the human breast. So between the aspiration and the achievable reality, people have disappointment. That can, get, that can turn to grief, that can turn to offense, that can turn to rebellion. So when the greatest puja happened on Golgotha, it was a needy sacrifice. In every culture, people bridge the gap with a sacrifice, with an offering. When they had that yearning for appeasement, puja was brought. So God weaved into human heart this possibility of appeasement. But every appeasement left human beings unfulfilled till this one appeasement came. So we remember Good Friday next weekend and we remember Easter Sunday. It is in that backdrop that we thought and conceived of puja. It is Nirmal and Malaika who did the drama frames, who first suggested to us, should we do an event like this during this passion period? So after Apeksha, we got onto this theme and some songs were composed and the theme line was woven with drama, music and song. We attempted to capture something for your heart out of the reality of what the Lord Jesus Christ did. I want to say again, is a perennial theme in every culture. What can bridge the gap? In order to bridge the gap, man brings an offering. In the story of Calvary, God became the offering. And on Good Friday, we remember how Jesus of Nazareth died. Prof. Carlos said, man is born, man suffered, man dies. But life of Jesus did not end there. He was born one amongst us and he lived amongst us. He bridged many gaps in the society he lived in. He bridged the gap between women and men. He bridged the gap between haves and have-nots. He bridged the gap between Galilee that was despised and Judea that was held in high esteem. Finally, the cross has two poles, one vertical. He bridged the gap between God and man and he bridged the gap between different sectors of human kind, the horizontal pole of the cross. It was prophesied that he would do that. That was the offering that God made by himself coming down on earth. That was his answer. And the cross of Calvary was like a courthouse because we easily take each other to court. We hold grudges. There are demands and expectations. We write, I owe you. You should have done this for me. 
a son might tell the father. So human society is debt ridden in the sense that we hold debt against each other. On that cross, this debt was cancelled. The legal term used was redeemed. On that cross, reconciliation was made. On that cross, condemnation ceased because one took it all, our condemnation, and made us free. Guilt was taken and we were acquitted. Our inside report changed and we could say, but God said from heaven, this is my beloved son in whom I am well placed. This is the offer of Good Friday, that our whole life of our self-centeredness, he took upon himself. The light that hurt others, insisted on our own will, he took upon himself. And when we agree with that transaction, Zealot died and a new person came to being. All things pass away. So after this cross, there was this resurrection, a new person coming into being. That's the offer of this puja event. That's what Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday means. We want to sing this Tim, we want to sing this little song. Unto you who believe Jesus Christ is precious, you will immediately rec re recognize this is a borrowed tune. But it captures, in essence, through a tune that is very familiar to you, the story of Good Friday and the Resurrection Sunday. Unto you who believe Jesus Christ is precious. Oh 
Yeah.